Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. You may notice a slight yellow line, and also the fact we went nowhere near our base. So, I've continued working on the main bus line. I've been doing Factorio style and only building ver uh, horizontally. I've remembered you can build vertically, so I've been doing a few tests. I've also been expanding. Right now, the yellow is unbuilt. That is an unbuilt uh, conveyor belt. As you can see, I'm on the other side of the planet. I thought I'd see how far I can go. Down there, all the way at the very bottom beneath me, is where my base is. So this is what the main bus will be like. I want to see if I can cross. So the only reason I've stopped is because I hit this piece of stone, which I'm going to have to either mine or go around. It's a bit annoying, but it's in the way. So yeah, I'm going to show you the test bench, and I'm going to show you what the actual base now looks like, if I can make it back, because it's a long walk and I ran out of fuel doing this. Oh my god, that was a journey and a half. Welcome to the testing bench. Now the testing bench is just an area I've been building and experimenting with, which is completely the other side of the planet. In fact, I don't even know if I can see the nodes anymore, I'm so far away from that. But yeah, I've been testing with the whole five thing. And also I've noticed, if you remember correctly, like the first episode I think it was, certain areas of the planet don't align as you can see here. So one of the things I've been working on is obviously getting things sorted. So as you can see here, this is kind of what it looks like when it goes over one of these lines. It's a bit meh, but it is what it is. Now, going straight line, I've just been following one of these lines I think, so that's what the main test, main bus is doing. It's following a line so it is completely straight, although certain edge pieces will be a bit off, which is a bit meh. But I did realise that verticality is built into the game, and I forgot because I'm usually looking down like this. So I've been messing around, there are three types of splitters in this game. There's the one slot, four sides, no, four, four slots, four sides, there's one on each side. There is two sides, four slots, so there's one at ground level, one, one up. So you can actually, you know, bring two into one and drop it down or drop it up if you feel like it. See, so you can raise or lower it. Then there's this one, which is all four sides, but there's two on the side, two above, and it's slightly higher. So you can, you know, drop things in from a higher level and have them go down. Now that's what I've been experimenting with this. My initial junction is pretty rubbish with the iron all the way over there. Yes, yeah, just over this side. So I've been working with this. It's a little bit awkward to see, but it's still the same five lines, but it's also there's a second layer. So layer zero, two and four, and obviously maybe six, eight and 10, will be the main bus lane, as you can see. I, I'm not happy with how this goes across. It will be the main bus lane. So the bottom layer will be iron, middle layer will be copper, to, uh, next lane will probably be, I don't know, research. But yeah, it gives us a huge amount of resources. I don't know if they're going to change how going through it works, but it gives us a huge amount of resources in a much smaller significant area. And the way resources now connect is, to go in, they hit these side pieces, as you can see, then they get dropped down a layer into it. It makes a little bit awkward in the middle, as you can see, but it works a lot better. I'm also debating having like a storage modules on both sides and they will basically be there just to make sure we always have a certain level of say iron ingots, copper ingots, stuff like that just in case I need to build something and grab the pieces. But this is what our network will look like at the nodules which will obviously be the bits where things connect. And as you've seen, we're probably having a minimum of four of those. I'd love to get them equidistantly around the planet. But I don't know if that's possible without, I don't know, several hours of work. So maybe I'll do that off camera. For those wondering, we are now three and a half, four hours in. And I've been doing a lot off camera. Right now I have a huge amount of constructed stuff. As you can see, I've got a lot of assemblers, a lot of smelters, and a lot of matrix labs. And speaking of labs, I have found that... The bot you can only connect to the bottom one. As you can see, I've been around here. So you can do this here, and then you do it higher, like this, for two layer. You can't connect. As you can see, you can only connect to the bottom one, which makes it a bit meh. But what happens is the bottom one controls all of them. So even though this one's taking it all in, it will fill itself up first, so it's like 10, 10. Then it will fill the next one, and then the next one. 
So you can actually control an entire stack from just the bottom one picking in resources. So this would be a three stack. And obviously another one there would be doing that. So if you have fast enough uh, sorters, you can pull in the resources so fast it's powering the entire stack. Which means you don't need like 20 spread out. You can have 20 almost straight up. So it really makes research more compact. It also does the same for the other thing. Three on top of each other. I do this. Uh, the bottom one will start pulling it in. Then once that's full, it'll start moving them further and further up. You can see when they're lit up, but they're actually working. Now, I've not actually got a research area set up yet, but let's go look at the main bus. Before we get to the main bus, there's the research, as you can see. The bottom two are pulling in stuff quickly, and it's going in. As you can see, four out of six are currently working. I don't think this is yes, isn't pulling out fast enough. Why is there only one of these? But yeah, this is currently going in. I love how glowy they are. And I have like a thousand, I need 2,000 stored in here, which I'm going to use for research. I've also got stone being turned to stone blocks and glass. I've got the copper line going in. I need to actually set up a copper smelting area like the iron area. But we have a copper line currently feeding into layer two. As you can see, this is still here. I've not changed this. But this is now what it currently looks like, as you can see. Three layers, the top layer will be steel once that is sorted. So we still have the iron at the bottom, copper in the middle, and steel and whatever else at the top. And you can also obviously layer these things on top. I've built one here, not going anywhere yet. So each section can have multiple layers of resources being pulled off of it, obviously being connected and so on. Which gives us a huge amount more opportunities. You can't stack these things annoyingly, or these, but you know, they exist so you can stack everything else. All the important stuff. And that's going to be a big one in the future. Having them all stacked and prepped. God, look at that circle. God, it's straight below me. And that will help us out. Now, it might get a little bit messy. But what we're going to have is the central bus will be the tier 3 conveyor belt. So it can be running fast. And obviously, we'll probably have like tier 1s and 2s going off of it. Because we won't be needing those materials to move fast. We'll just be needing those materials to be pulled off the bus, but we need the materials on the bus to be moving as quickly as possible as soon as I actually set up the new network. And that's what we've currently got. Iron needs to be improved and expanded. That needs to be moved further on. And I need to set up research. In fact, while we're on the subject of research, I do love how bright blue that is. While we're on the subject of research, I'm just going to quickly set up two researches here. Right the object, really? Oh yeah, there's one's there. And, uh, yeah. Let's do that to there, there, there. Because obviously what I want to do is sort this out. I mean, each research should be started. Once research is properly started, it'll be much better off. So research was, yes, yeah, so once they go in, let's do that, let's get rid of that one there. Because we need a lot of research to be done. An awful lot of research needs to be done. A lot of energy needs to be done. I love how blue that is. And let's get our research sorted. So what we're going to be going for is smelting for steel. So we're going to set that up, 120. Look how quickly it's going. Smelting purification, so we can actually get high purity of that and get the energetic graphite, which is a better fuel. We're then going to get thermal power, so we can start turning coal into power, because we're a little bit low on power. We're going to get fluid storage, so we can actually start preparing for water pumping. Uh, what else we got? We can't do anything else till we get red energy, that's a bit of an issue ahead. We can't really get this, so this is going to be me making electric motors, easily done for speed. I'd like, of course, to get an extra line of inventory. I'd like to get energy circuits up and running. And I'd like to get... I still can't do any of that either. I'd also like to get vertical, so we can actually get another layer of storage and two more layers of lab. That's going to be a future thing too. But as you can see, this will give us access to the next tier and we can begin production of our base. But we do need to sort this out. I don't really need to get this iron and stuff to disappear, but I think it's going to take a bit too long to remove it. But once we get like tier 2 research, we can get tier 2 conveyors to three times the speed of these. And then we can probably, then we can treble the size of this. Three times the speed, three times the size. So it's going to take a little bit of time, but there we are. Research, of course, will all be done. And I need to actually set up an entirely new research area. 
And also, I'm going to be marking my boss with the blue, because look how beautiful that blue glow is. We just need to find a nice place for research to be. And I'm thinking, now I'm looking at it, maybe here? God, look at that line just going across. Not much left to do. That line is going to cut straight through the copper as well. Be interesting to see if it even matches up. So yeah, let's do it here in this green area of the iron. Because I also want a reason to actually use the main bus. There's no point having the main bus if I'm not going to use the main bus. Let's get some energy up and running and then go over there and see what's up. Now, I don't really need, you know, to build it over here. I just build it literally next to my base. But I've watched enough Matrix very recently to know what you need is a large glowing power plant like structure somewhere inside your city. And if you don't have that, then are you really building a futuristic city on another planet you're going to be turning into a future Dyson sphere to murder everyone else with kindness? So, you know, it's just considerations. Wait, why is... Do I have what I need for this? Mm -hmm. uh, more rings, okay. So, yeah, we're going to set up a massive glowing city over here, and we're going to start pumping all of our research into it, because, like I say, otherwise, what's the point? And how I'm going to do it is, I think, just for this to begin with, the outer two will be the second one we need. No, the, inner, the outer two will be the first one we need, the inner two will be the second one we need, and this one will be the third one we need. And obviously then we can expand to have an even larger cityscape glowing and expanding there. Because of course it will look pretty epic at night time when the entire system glows. The problem of course we currently have is, we don't really have, well, any real need for it. We don't really have much in the way of research going on, but we do have it prepped. Now I need well, to stop researching for a start, and I also need to grab all of these. Because I have used a few. Just a few. And obviously turning this back on will start using up more resources, which will mean I can stop prepping things again. Oops. Stop that. And there we are. So I don't really know what to do with the energy. I don't know if I want it to be in the top, in the third layer, but we're going to have it in the third layer just because it looks kind of cool. Now I haven't really decided what to do with all of this stuff yet. Oh, you can also hold shift down, I've found out, to actually, you know, not have it connect to buildings, which is actually a massive thing for me because I was having issues with it. So this will turn my entire top layer blue, which I'm actually quite excited for. Obviously, I need to actually set up the research somewhere soon to build it, but if I can have the research to build it next to it, then I can actually have all my resources flowing nicely. Right now, of course, this is just what I'm currently using. So this can be deleted. Ah, come on. Need to get rid of some of my resources. There we are. And this will of course mean we actually have a lot of research going in one place. Again, I need to sort it out because it is going to be built somewhere else. But I do like the idea of a glowy area on the top of my line. Look how nice it looks. Then I can just point to this and go, this is the blue line. And obviously the red line will be somewhere else. And you don't need to do this at this current stage. I'm just doing this because epic is epic. Now, I'm going to have to let this build, so give me a second. It's going to take a while. Okay, so I had to uh, move it back one, because I really wanted to actually have storages down here as well, just like there's always storage going on. It does, however, mean there'll be less stuff on the belt to make it shiny. But I do, of course, want it to actually look good. Now, we're not fully finished. There's a few left over here. And I need to actually set up production for energy very, very soon. But... You can see where I'm going, although I definitely would like some kind of support on this. I really, really am glad I remembered that there is such a thing as verticality in this game. Because I'm so used to Factorio, I forgot. Now for those who play Satisfactory more, obviously they probably have a different opinion. But for me, I completely forgot. Look at that. So if you ever lost, you can just look for the blue lane, which massively glows. Yeah, I can't get the uh, the splitters to level 3 yet without the research. Research requires red. So currently we're stuck at tier 2, which is copper and iron, with obviously steel and research being a thing up top. 
So right now, until we can sort that, that's what we've currently got. Although we do now finally have steel. I don't know what I'm doing with the steel, but we have steel. Which will help us, obviously, in the future. So there we are. Okay, research is now being pulled out, going in the box. There we go, so we'll get it flowing down. And this will start glowing whenever we research, which will be amazingly good to look at. Okay, let's actually set this up. Obviously, there'll be nothing to look at right now because we're not doing anything, but... I think we'd be quite happy. Because what we do need to research, of course, is, if I look at it, uh, where is it, tech. I want to get the high efficiency stuff, which requires, obviously, the blue. Because I'd like to get, none of them, sort of Mark 2s. Sort of Mark 2s require uh, engine parts and. Sort of Mark 2s require engine parts and sort of Mark 1s. Do they? Okay, let's get some sort of Mark 2s out. So, yeah, once we've got these done, we actually have these set up. But, yeah, I just like how it is. It's just going to take a while. But once it's all done, you, you bet this is going to look bloody amazing. How many are actually on this connection? But, yeah, this is what we're looking for. Like I say, it's not the best looking thing in the world. There's probably a better designs already after just a couple of dates. But it's my design. And I'm happy with it, kind of. I'm only kind of happy with it. Obviously, there's a lot more things I'd like to be able to change. But this is all done. This is all sorted. And these are now all prepped. So we now have research sorted. So. Oh, I actually don't have power in the middle. This will be a problem. Oh, I don't know how to get power in the middle. Ooh. Maybe we are going to need... A uh, gap here in between each one. Okay, so every three there'll be a gap. Which will be fine. We can just do this. It'll look fine. In fact, every three is probably already too much. So, yeah, there we go. And once I do a research, which actually requires them, which will, in fact, this time be. Mechanical foot energy circuit? So, none I can actually do. Come on, give me a tech I can use. Okay, environmental modification. This allows me to actually add more land. Look at that. A glowing area with glowing resources flowing into it. So this is what I want. Just a big continent full of this. It's going to take a while, but I think we're going to get there. Now, back to uh, whatever else we were doing over there. What were we doing over there? So, I just spent another... God's hour! And we finally have a 100% around the world connection. Now it's only one of five, as you can see I've begun prepping the other four. But yeah, this iron now travels around the world to come back to where we need it. Now of course it's not doing anything, but I did it! I bloody did it! Also, you can see we actually start the actual connection here. Iron's still a little bit of a mess right now, but we'll sort it out. Copper, of course, is going across. But yeah, this is uh, now s s sorted. S s s s sorted. And I'm quite happy about it, if I'm honest. It actually looks pretty darn good. Of course, it's not, like I say, fully complete. But, oh wow, it takes one more. That's annoying. It's not fully complete, but yeah, it does what I need it to do. Although this, like I say, one tile off. Very annoying. And we can now begin the rest of it. So our next goal, of course, is to begin production of resources. Right now we're making these, and I don't really know if we need these. I can actually obviously pull resources off different areas to make different things. What we do need is a sorter Mark 1 and Mark 2 to be made. And after that we can start doing other things. So a Mark 1, what does it need? A Mark 1 needs... Iron and circuit boards. That's iron, iron and copper. That's easily done. We can just put it off here. So that'll be the iron. Obviously we can get copper off in the next tier. It's going to be a bit awkward doing the tiers, but you know. Now we're going to bring this to here. 
Because it's iron, iron, copper. So what we need here is a suit. That's how it looks. So it needs. What does the second one need? The second one needs those and electric motors. Electric motors require a few more materials. So as you can see, it's going to start getting more advanced. Let's start off by building these. So they require copper and iron. So in reality, this iron layer will be brought in for two things. So maybe we should have had it on the other side. Hmm. We have these going into disc production. Let's see, this to here requires them. That's just straight up metal and then circuit boards. So what we need now is another layer up above it. Of course, the problem here we have is we have to drop it down. If we do this, we can go there and there. Although this one here would be a bit annoying. Unless... Am I smart or am I dumb? I don't know. This is, looks a bit meh, if I'm honest. I think I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm smarter. So these will be, let's see, this will be pulling in, so this will be making circuits. We can get iron on the other side doing another thing. But yeah, this should be what we're after. And if need be, we can even make the iron go around the other way. This will be making us tier 1 sorters, then we can move them into tier 2 sorters, so we're going to slowly start upscaling as and when we need it, which of course uh, will be a bit of an issue in places, but we should be okay, although this is a thing I didn't account for we only have three of these going there because these are better sorters, this should be a lot easier Okay, let's actually start powering it up, and here we are. And there we go. This is actually still doing the wrong thing. You need to make uh, them as well. And that's how we get this going on. Now, the iron is uh, not really making it through, I'm honest. It could probably sp uh, support a fourth one, but then we need another iron line on the other side as well. Luckily the iron layer isn't going through, so we need a fourth one here. Obviously we can upscale production in the future. That does however mean we need a layer here. There. So yeah, each section will be making its own stuff. And obviously we'll have a main set of one section just doing regular things as well. So this will be then be going down here to there. Then we do this to here, and this will be another iron line, which I think we'll only be needing one for. And there we go. So this will be producing our tier one sorters. So we should never need to start making our own stuff anymore. Of course, we'll sort that out in a second, but yeah. Oh wait, what am I doing? Go to here, so we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We also need to obviously sort out our energy issue. Energy is now going to be a major problem. But you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. So this now will produce for us conveyor mark ones. Not conveyor mark ones. Starter mark ones. There we go. And we're done. We now officially have this sorted. Now I don't know where it's going to go. Right now it just exists. But yeah, there we are. I think right now it's going to have it sorted into a box. But yeah, we now have sorters sorted. We now have conveyors sorted. Obviously next level conveyors will be a bit more of an issue. But you know, there we are. Get a box now, why not? 
Obviously, we need to get sources, uh, sources marked too. That's for another thing. Let me quickly see how much time we've got left. And if I'm actually recording, that'd be a good one. <laughs> 